First, I'm going to apologize. I can't really smile in this video because I just had an accident right before making it. I don't know if you can see it, but right here, it's swollen and I have a little cut here. I was walking out of my kitchen and I have like a, a sign that says Bistro. It's like carved out letters kind of deal and it sits above my doorway. And for one some reason, it fell. And it hit me on my head and then a corner of it hit me on my lip. It was so, bleeding. I got it to stop bleeding. And so I just don't want to have it start up again. So I'm not going to tempt fate by cheesing. <laughs> Even though I'm smiling <laughs> on the inside. So anyway, I just wanted to come and like show you guys the, the curls. And as you can see, they are like super defined. I've slept on these and um, I've missed a thumb each day. And they have come right back. And today I was just looking at it and I'm like, oh my God, I love the way these curls are looking with each passing day. And I have to say, I didn't have that experience when I used the Elucent. But I think um, the conditioner and this, um, the Eco Styler Gel with Argan Oil for me, for this wash and go, is a really, really good combination. Because um, again, the definition is really great and um, it just looks better and better each day. The curls wake up a lot easier, you know, after I mist and shake my hair. My hair still feels really soft and moist and um, I really, really love it. But so, um, this is it. I just wanted you guys to see um, what they look like. I've had some questions about um, about my comments concerning Eco Styler Gel. So there are some gels that just cause people to have frizzy, or not frizzy hair, but cause them to have like a lot of crunch. And um, Eco Styler Gel for most people is one of those gels where they always have crunch. Now I have only tried two of the Eco Styler Gels. I've tried the Eco Styler with Argan Oil, and I've tried the Eco Styler with Olive Oil. When I was transitioning, I loved the Eco Styler with olive oil. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, however, since I have transitioned to natural, I liked it a lot less. I don't like the way it feels on my hair, and I get a whole lot of crunch, a whole lot of shrinkage and a whole lot of crunch. So I basically threw the green eco styler out. Um, my daughter also kind of had the same experience. She didn't really like it either. It was flaking up a lot on her and um, just wasn't a good experience. So I did try the argan oil. That's how I came to try it. And again, with the argan oil, no matter what I pair it with, I don't have crunch. I can use that with Kinky Curly Knot today as my leave-in conditioner and just the gel and have no crunch. I can use it with um, the conditioner, no crunch. I can use it with a Lucent, no crunch. I'm trying to think what other leave-ins. I've used it with um, Shea Moisture, um, Curl and Style Milk, no crunch. So um, I had the question, you know, did I think perhaps it was the the conditioner that was causing me not to experience crunch in my hair when using the Argan Oil Eco Styler. And, you know, the answer is really no. I mean, I've tried it across different products and I just haven't had crunch. So I don't know if that's, uh, you know, an experience everyone has, but it's certainly true for me. Here's another question I got. What are fairy knots? So fairy knots are really, really fine little knots you'll get at the ends of your hair. Sometimes it'll be one strand kind of knotted up oddly. Um, other times it'll just be like two or three strands knotted up into a really, really tiny, teeny, tiny um, knot at the end of your hair. And some people end up having to cut them out because they can't get them loose. Um, I'm usually able to get them out if I just work with it a little bit and use a little bit of oil or use a conditioner or if I'm using my Tresemme, not Tresemme, but um, Tresemme, but um, Tear Essentials, my wash, they come right out. And, oh, another uh, question I had was about what's the difference between smoothing a product on and shingling. And really there isn't that much difference. 
when I say smoothing, I'm basically just talking about using your fingers to smooth the product on. Um, and in shingling, you can do that as well, but um, with shingling, you can also use a comb or you can use a brush. So I don't use any tools, so I just call it smoothing it on the hair. All right, so I hope you like this video. Um, I really, really am loving the hair, so um, I hope you guys try this and let me know, you know, what your results are um, from using that smoothing or shingling process along with uh, the conditioner by Paul Mitchell and um, Eco Styling with Argan Oil. See you guys later. Bye-bye.